I am about to sort my pieces for Tanya Wick's Autumn Delight for a puzzle along that I'm in. Um, and I thought I'd try a new segment called Puzzles and Plot Spoilers, basically because I am just dying to tell you about uh, the worst episode of Little House on the Prairie ever that I just watched. Um, first of all, why am I watching it? Uh, I didn't get to watch it when I was a kid. Um, there were reruns um, and I, I only watched a couple homesick from school. I never watched the show, but I loved the books. Um, and in October, I watched 30 horror movies, over 30 horror movies. And I decided that I just wanted to go really innocent for a little while and watch Little House on the Prairie. Um, and I am loving it, but this episode has got to be the wackiest one ever. Now, I'm going to use the word Indian because they do. It was never correct. And uh, <laughs> this whole thing is possibly a nightmare. I might not even... I might not even post this video because this is fraught. But it was Halloween and Laura and Albert, oh, I'm plot spoiling by the way, in case the title of the segment didn't give it away. This is from season six, uh, the Halloween episode. Laura and Albert are getting dressed for Halloween as Indians. Now, um, I'm not sure that on the prairie, people actually dressed up for Halloween back then but for the episode they do um, and they were trying to win the best dressed I'm really not sure you would choose to dress as an Indian um, if you were trying to win best dressed at Nellie Olsen's Halloween party but that's what they were doing now they come down and show Ma and Pa and Carrie their costumes uh, they've got paint, war paint on their faces um, and Albert has a full feathered headdress and they're in their costume and Ma and Pa say, well before you go to the party you have to have a nap and they do. So they're going upstairs in their costumes with their makeup on and all the feathers to lie down and have a nap. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, <sighs> then uh, they wake up and go to the party um, and on the way these Indians find them who are looking for the son of a chief who is going to lead them uh, in an uprising against the settlers so Albert and Laura are taken by these Indians because they think Albert is um, who they're looking for and also they have a wagon full of ammunition and repeating rifles that they stole from the army so this is going well isn't it um, so they don't want to just say hey we're a couple of white kids because what do you, what's gonna happen uh, so they're sort of trying to play along and um, get out of this situation. So eventually, uh, oh, this is all a dream, plot spoiler, plot spoiler, but it turns out that Albert is just dreaming this, um, of course, because none of this could really be happening. Uh, so they, uh, Albert and Laura steal the wagon and they're, um, racing away, Albert's got the reins and the Indians are chasing them down the road and they're gaining on them and it's really scary. Uh, but Laura is opening barrels of ammunition. Um, she's, she, she's throwing barrels of uh, bullets out of the wagon and then using uh, a rifle to shoot them and blow them up. Um, and she's like a crack shot all of a sudden. Um, and, and poor Indians, are, uh, their horses are blowing up. They're getting blown off their horses. They're going everywhere. Um, they're still after them. It's like the Terminator. They're still after them, gaining on them. But uh, there's just a few less each time. Uh, 
but Laura and Albert uh, make it to the town where the army and Pa are waiting for them. I, I'm not sure how that happened. Uh, so the, the army take on the Indians and that's horrible. Um, and they say to Laura, we salute you. And poor Albert's fainted at the reins and Pa's trying to revive him. And that's when he wakes up. Um, and it was all a dream, as I have already plot spoiled. But uh, you think, well, then, you know, that's that's the end. But, um, oh, no, they still have to go to the party. So Laura and Albert are on the way to the party again. And this time when Albert sees um, an Indian on the horizon, he thinks, holy shit, this is my dream. And he hightails it for home. But the other Indian is just Willie Olsen and... Um, Willie and Laura go off to the party. You don't see anything more from that. And you think, thank God, we can go back to a bit of a normal episode next for Little House. Um, but they have one more little surprise at the end, and that is that they start playing Hava Nigula, Hava Nigula. I'm thinking, what is happening? Um, and that is the best, worst episode of Little House on the Prairie ever. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Just kidding.